Hi Scorpio, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So today is your um, 2017 overview, year ahead tarot read. Now the way that I'm going to do this reading, uh, Scorpio, is in the style of the um, life spread reading. Um, so this is going to be the only life spread reading I'm doing for 2017. We had around two of them uh, last year. Some of the energies may have worked for some of you guys, some not. just depends because it's a general reading. But we're going to do a life spread. I thought it would be good just to look at the five areas of your life uh, for the month for the uh, year 2017. So this is the best way that I know how to do it. Okay, so what we're going to do... Let's just clear this. What we're going to do is we're using the Rider Waite. Well, it's the Radiant Rider Waite we're actually using um, for the actual life spread. And then we've got... Um, I'm using the Witch's Tarot, but just the Major Arcanas from the Witch's Tarot, which are here for your anchor. So you'll remember this spread. You should do if you've seen them before, Scorpio. What we're going to do is we're going to shuffle, and we're going to see what's coming in uh, for your um, family, life, your personal situation, so your personal life your career, your love life and the future. And we're also going to have an advice card as well. And then we'll shuffle for the um, the anchor. And the anchor should show seven cards to show where everything should be heading. Okay. So Universe Spirit, show me. This is a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for the year 2017. Show me a life spread reading. Focusing on Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for their life spread in 2017. I want to focus on the whole year, please, of 2017 for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. I'd like to look at their family situation, personal situation, their career, their love lives. And the future with an advice card afterwards, please. So show me these five areas for Scorpio in the year 2017. Show me. Right. So we've shuffled. We're going to split the deck into three. We're going to collect that deck back up. And what we're going to do, I'm going to need to put it down this way. So from the top, I think it's going to be, is it here? Is the family situation. So this is the key card, and this shows the energies that should be happening around your family relationships uh, within the month, within the year 2017. And then we put three cards. Now, this can be past, present, future, or it can be uh, present, present, future, or future, future, future. We can never go backwards within a life spread. We can only go forward. So we're going to put that here. And then we're going to have a look at the present situation. It's the present situation we'll start off with anyway. So this is the key card. Energy is happening around your present situation in the year 2017. And then the same three cards. And then we're focusing here on your career. And then the three cards around that. This section here shows love. And then the three cards around that. And then the future and your three cards around that. Let's push this here. And your advice card is here. Now we're going to shuffle the anchor. Universe Spirit, show me. Where is everything heading for? Show me the... Um, where everything's heading in terms of the personal situation and also the foundation for what's going on with Scorpios in the month of in the year 2017. Show me also um, card number two, which will be for Korea, where everything's heading in terms of Korea for Scorpio, where everything is heading in terms of love for Scorpio. The fourth card should be the central theme. But I'll use this for where everything's heading in terms of their family relationships and home situation. The fifth card um, to show me what their wishes will be. 
the sixth card to show me future, where everything's heading future-wise, and the seventh card to show me the overall outcome for the year 2017 for Scorpio. Show me. Right, let me turn it this way. So this is card anchor card number one, and that represents your career. Sorry, no, that's wrong. I do apologise. That's anchor card number one, present situation. This should show the foundation of your lives right now. Sorry, in the month, in the year 2017. And also, this card also shows the outcome for your present situation. This card here is number two, and that shows the outcome for career. Number three shows the outcome for love. Number four is the central theme and shows the outcome for uh, your home and family relationships. Number five is your wishes. Number six is the future. And number seven should show the overall outcome. Okay, so we've got the cards laid. And let's have a look at what the um, foundation... We always start with the foundation card here, which should show the outcome of the present situation as well. So it shows the lovers. So some of you guys might be in love. Uh, the lover's card is a card that is based on being in love. It might be that you love something that you do. The lovers, it's interesting with the tarot because sometimes we want to look at these cards and we want to say, you know, because it's the lovers, it's to do with relationships. And it is to do with relationships, but it's in relation to whatever it is that you love. So you could have a relationship with your dog. I don't mean a sexual relationship, obviously, but you might love a pet or you might love um, wildlife or you might love your children a lot or you might love your job that's what the lovers is you might love a sofa or you might love a particular tv that you want to buy the lovers is all about what you love it's not necessarily to do with a love relationship but it's to do with and you can see on this card it's different from the made from the uh, right away because it doesn't show two people that are apart it shows two people that are very much together so it shows some form of alignment and synchronicity and i feel that uh, in the in the year 2017 the foundation for you guys will be about focusing on the things that you love, the things that you really, really care about, the things that mean the most to you, the things that you feel more aligned with. It's going to be, I feel, about bringing, uh, putting difficulties to the past, perhaps uh, forgiven, forgiving, perhaps forgiveness will be a, a focus for you guys because the lovers is not just about, I love the way the witch's tarot uh, has these two people staring at each other because it to me it's the yin and yang in bringing those two uh, opposing forces male and female uh, together so that you know it's about alignment and bringing things into alignment so I feel very much uh, 2017 for Scorpios will, will be about bringing things into alignment so if you're falling out with people it's about forgiveness it's about bringing uh, things together it's about putting yourself on the correct path of enlightenment I'm seeing a real kind of spiritual development going on in 2017 where you're able to kind of put the past to the past and move forward to the future so the lovers is also a choice so for some of you guys it might be that the foundation will be making choices in the month of 2000 and the year sorry 2017 and it's going to be really really important uh, for you these particular and there'll be big choices that some of you guys are going to be needing to be making in the year 2017 also focusing on love relationships the personal the foundation of your lives what's going on with you in the year 2017 will very much also because we can't ignore obviously that the lovers is about human relationships especially relationships between you and a partner or someone that you're in love with so some of you guys might be involved in relationships and they might be very very strong it might be that you'll want to be involved in relationships where you're finding your soulmate uh, I'm not going to say twin flame twin flame is a difficult one for me because twin flames you're not always with your twin flame and sometimes that can be a really difficult relationship a twin flame relationship because sometimes twin flame relationships do tend to go through a very difficult period and you're very lucky if you find your twin flame and you stay with your twin flame because if you do you'll probably have the most incredible relationship that you've ever had but a lot of people find it difficult kind of coming together with their twin flames because sometimes your twin flame doesn't even recognize that they're your twin flame so I'm not going to say twin flame I'm going to say your soulmate with this so some of you guys will be very focused on finding a soulmate and will indeed probably find a soulmate in the year 2017 with this card let's have a look at your personal situation what's it crowned by well the page of pentacles shows up here it could be a person usually page of pentacles could represent a younger 
uh, person uh, can represent a child as well, but it also focuses on money and it focuses on the need to look at things in a very or be responsible. If this is the energy that you are incorporating in the month of in the year, I keep saying the month in the year 2017, Scorpio, I feel that your personal situation will be about being responsible. And also, when you get the Page of Pentacles, it really says be grateful for what you've got. You know, this person here, this page has one pentacle and he's looking at it and he's saying, right, I've got one pentacle. What can I do with this pentacle? I have something to work with. So it's all about working with the elements, working with what you've got. If there is a shortage of money or anything like that in the year 2017, then it's about making lemons from, uh, lemonade from lemons. So it's really utilizing the things that you have, which for me is what the Page of Pentacles is about. Some of you guys, the energy might be that you're speculating on opportunities that might be coming to you within your personal situation. Let's have a look at the other card that comes up underneath the Page of Pentacles. Well, there's the potential of a negotiation. We've got the Two of Cups showing here. So some of you guys might be speculating, you know, if this is money situation, shortage of money, that type of thing, it might be that you're looking to negotiate on new deals concerning money, for example. If there are new opportunities that are coming to you, which you're going to be looking at quite seriously, because the Page of Pentacles is a card about being serious. It's about taking responsibility and looking at something in a very realistic fashion. So around that energy, we're seeing potentially a relationship. Uh, I'm not going to say it's a love relationship. Two of Cups is about love relationships, but it can be about any type of relationship. Okay, it can be about a relationship between you and a co-worker, a relationship between you and an employer, relationship between you and your bank manager. It's about being on the same page. So I feel that around these opportunities, you'll be looking for some form of uh, success with this Two of Pentacles. It could involve many people as well because Two of Cups isn't just a card about, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one relationships. It's a card that references talking to people, meetings, group work, teamwork that type of thing. You can see these two people are clanking glasses together. They agree. There is a um, synergy between them. There is an agreement going on. So around this page of pentacles, whatever this is, if this is, say, for example, a work opportunity that comes to you, it might be that you're looking to sign. You're looking uh, to forge some form of agreement going forward in your personal situation, um, Scorpio, in the year 2017. If it's a love situation, this isn't necessarily a love card, but it is a card about looking realistically and speculating so some of you guys, the energy might be that you're speculating. Potentially, it could be around a relationship, whether it's love, whether it's a negotiation in work, whether it's, you know, uh, finalizing a deal or whether it's kind of just if there's anything to do with shortage of money, maybe you're trying to uh, negotiate with uh, creditors, that type of thing to get the best deal for yourself. Let's have a look what the other card is. Well, the Seven of Wands. So there's a relationship here that maybe you guys might be looking to defend, potentially, the Seven of Wands. Uh, when you get cards like the Seven of Wands, it's about defending something here. So if there is an opportunity or there is something that you're speculating in the year 2017, it might be around a relationship that you're looking to uh, defend. So I feel that you guys are going to be taking greater responsibility around the relationships that you have, you know, around the things that have brought you some form of success because the Two of Cups is a card of success. It's like the Three of Cups. You get Two of Cups, Three of Cups, they're all... Both cards are about an agreement. Both cards are about a collaboration. So some of you guys might be looking to defend an agreement that you're signing. Hold on to something. The Seven of Wands is also about holding on to things. This person doesn't want anybody interfering with what they believe to be theirs. This card is also a card that uh, represents the word courage as well. So if you're speculating on perhaps a new relationship, this isn't a love reading. Whatever this relationship concerns... You'll be looking to defend it because the Seven of Wands is about defending what you have. This person isn't going anywhere on the Seven of Wands. They're standing their ground. They're standing their ground around a relationship. Let's have a look at the other card. And the Eight of Pentacles shows up here. So the Eight of Pentacles represents focus, determination, and hard work. Okay, So I feel that uh, there's a relationship here. You're looking to defend it. Uh, because you're putting a lot of effort into this thing. There's something that you believe in here. It could be a business thing, for example, because you've got the Page of Pentacles. Sometimes the energy with the Page of Pentacles can be about the startup of a business here. And maybe around that startup of some form of a business, if this is business indeed, um, Scorpio, it could be saying that with the Two of Cups, that this is a collaboration that's happening, something that you want to defend. 
because you're looking to put a lot of effort and hard work into this. So I'm seeing a lot of effort and hard work going into new developments, whether they be work, whether they be relationships, um, whether they be partnerships, because the Two of Cups is a card about a pledge, it's a part of partnership, okay? Partnership that you want to defend because you've put a lot of hard work and effort into it, okay? So for some of you guys, this is something that you're putting a lot of hard work into and a lot of effort, and you're not willing to let anybody get in the way of that. And I'm seeing that in the personal situation, it might be love because it is a personal situation. So I do feel that the Page of Pentacles as the key card uh, in your personal situation shows you guys taking something very, very seriously. You're also speculating on the growth of this thing. You also have a sense of belief. The Page of Pentacles believes in the prosperity and in the ability to grow what he has from small ac acorns come great oak trees so there is potentially for some of you guys in the year 2017 going to be a relationship that you're going to want to defend because you're going to be focusing on putting a lot of hard work and effort into this thing because the energy is the page of pentacles and that page of pentacles we can see here is speculating on this one pentacle that it has this one chance this one opportunity that it has and it's not willing to let it go it wants it to grow it wants it to uh flourish and to grow bigger than what it has at the moment and therefore around this opportunity we can see that there is a relationship a partnership a collaboration in which you will be looking to defend because you've put a lot of hard work and effort into it so it's about not letting go of things that are actually um you feel have the potential for growth and it does grow because we've got the outcome being the lovers and the lovers is greater than the two of cups so here we see the start of something. So for some of you guys, it might be the start of something that is, uh, has a great potential uh, for growth with this Page of Pentacles. And it's around a relationship that you're going to defend because you're going to put a lot of hard work and effort into it. And as a result of that, the outcome is the lovers. Now we know that when we get the lovers, this is a card that references soulmate relationships. It represents a deepening of love, a real respect for one another. And I feel that this, the outcome being the lovers, this isn't about a choice. This is about two people who have grown within a relationship. So I see whatever this thing is that you want to defend because of all the hard work that you're putting in Scorpio, what I'm seeing is that it grows and it grows immensely to the lovers because it's something that you love and it's something that you absolutely believe in, okay, through hard work and through effort, okay? For some of you guys, it might be that you go into something new, potentially. The Page of Pentacles can always reference a new opportunity that comes. So the general energy could be a new opportunity. It's around some form of a partnership. You'll need to stand your ground on it because the more work you work and the more effort you put, put into this, the more successful you're going to become. And therefore, the lovers for me is the outcome. Kind of says, well, this grows to something quite deeper. It grows into something that you absolutely love and adore. So th it's a really positive vibe for your personal situation. Let's have a look at um, your career. Well, we've got the two of wands as the general energy. And some of you guys might be at the start of a new path. Uh, there's a progressive element to the two of wands when you get this card. You can see that this person here um, has one hand on a staff here and he's got one hand on a globe so his right hand is on the globe his left hand is on the staff and really what this is saying is, is he's taking everything that he knows from the past and he's pushing it forward into the future so I feel that you're taking all your skills all your talents everything you know everything that you've done and you're pushing it forward in a new direction some of you guys might be at a little bit of a crossroads because sometimes for me this card is about having one foot in the past one foot in the present uh, in the future and that's what creates the crossroads which direction do I take do I stick with what I have or do I move forward so some of you guys might be at a little bit of a crossroads and some of you guys that crossroads is really about a crossing over into something new so I'm seeing a small progression or the start of a progression towards perhaps a new path because the two of wands often comes after well it doesn't often it just does it comes after the ace of wands and the ace of wands is about new inspiration new ideas uh bolts of lightning uh excitement uh the excitement for something new a move a change uh, a spark 
off inspiration. And after that comes the two of wands where this person wants to explore uh, whatever this idea is or whatever this new relationship is going forward. So I see you guys are going to be at the precipice of a new ch for some form of a change in terms of your career with this two of wands. Let's have a look what's around the two of wands. Well, you might be doing a lot. This is the thing because you've got the two of pentacles here. So the two of pentacles represents to weigh up to try and come to form some form of a decision. It can represent to feel imbalanced. It can represent that you're doing two things at once. So for some of you guys, it might be that you have one hand on the past, one hand on the future, i.e. you might be already working in something, but the future says, well, what I'm working in now, maybe I can do something else. And maybe that's where the crossroads comes in. Because around this is the two of pentacles. Can I manage two things at once? For some of you guys in terms of career, you might be looking to take maybe a secondary job on going forward in 2017. Maybe to make ends meet because the two of pentacles can also be about trying to juggle finances. So for some of you guys, it might be that there is the will and the need to push forward in a certain direction concerning your career because the energies around this might be that you are juggling uh, money, but it can also be that you decide that you're going to juggle two jobs at the one time. So I'm seeing maybe two jobs for some of you guys coming in in the uh, year 2017. Might be that you do two part-time jobs. For some of you guys, it might be that you're at a crossroads here and therefore you're needing to weigh up exactly what direction you want to take in terms of your career. And there we have it. The Ace of Wands falls right there. And I feel that because you're weighing things up with the Two of Wands, you suddenly hit on a bright spark of an idea. So I do feel that the energy around your career in the year 2017 will be evaluating. Um, you've come to a crossroads concerning your career. And I feel around this with that Two of Pentacles, it's saying you need to weigh up what the best thing would be for you to do. Because you can see on this card there is a kind of rough sea behind this person so he's hopping from one foot to the other he's trying to make ends meet uh there's a lot of kind of um uh th it's not a settled or a stable card really the two of pentacles for me because we've got that rough sea with the ships that are kind of a little bit unstable so for me it says that there is some form of instability perhaps to do with finances around your career and perhaps the need to make ends meet for some of you guys and that's possibly why you've come to a crossroads concerning your careers because maybe this is around a money issue but it sees you hit on a new idea or there is a new um something new that's coming to you with the ace of wands and it looks to be exciting this is either if you're weighing up exactly what you're going to do within your career a new fresh approach happens the inspiration comes to you to do something in terms of your career scorpio because that's what the Ace of Wands is. The Ace of Wands can also be a new job or the energies or something new is opening up to you. A new path is opening up to you. I feel that now this is more a crossroads here because we've got the Ace of Wands there, which says that after this crossroads, if you're at a crossroads, if you're feeling a little bit stuck, then the Ace of Wands promises that you kind of unstick yourself from that through an idea either coming from yourself or maybe through somebody else coming up with an idea or contacting you. So we can see that there is a crossroads here. You might be weighing up what to do because things might be a little bit rough, especially financially, potentially for some of you guys. But you hit on a new idea or you get some new communication coming in. And what's the final card? There we go. This new idea will lead to success because you've got a king of pentacles showing here. And when you get the king of pentacles, it's about financial success. Okay, so it could be, I feel that you'll be at a crossroads, some of you guys, in terms of your career in 2017. It could be around finances, the two of pentacles here. You're trying to make ends meet. You're trying to kind of, some of you guys might be working two jobs to make ends meet. Some of you guys are working out the best route to take concerning this general energy here. Concerning this general energy, you seem to hit on a new idea or a new sense of inspiration comes to you in which the outcome card, the... um final card shows the king of pentacles and this is a card about finance great finance though great financial success so i'm seeing after a little bit of a rough start in the year 2017 concerning your finances there is financial um success abundance that seems to come to you scorpios this can also show a person that's going to be coming in king of pentacles is usually a very very helpful individual 
okay financially wise so if some of you guys are hitting a rough path you're in between sometimes this can be for me to have pentacle to have wands maybe in between jobs that type of thing in which you're trying to make money work the two of pentacles looks like a new direction is coming to you with the ace of wands it could involve a king of pentacles maybe somebody that you go to work with or go to work for this can also reference that whatever this new idea is especially if you run your own business scorpio it's going to bring you great success with that king of pentacles energy and let's have a look at what the overall outcome is for your career ah karma and in the which is tarot karma is judgment so judgment says that there is rebirth coming for a lot of you guys if you've been going through a difficult time in terms of finances then the year 2017 should should bring a renewal a sense of renewal and also when you get the uh, judgment card for me this is like a breath of fresh air because when you're going through a tough time financially or in terms of not knowing what direction to take within your career this card for me often says you can see the way that these perfect people are like woohoo thank god their arms are raised it's almost like their 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 uh, body language suggests that a, a huge weight has been lifted and that's what the judgment card is about it's not just about rebirth resurrection renewal it's also about a huge weight being lifted off one's shoulders so i'm seeing rebirth here in terms of career a lot of you guys might be going to new places of work in the year 2017 new jobs a lot of you guys might be finding your way out of a sticky situation in terms of maybe if you run a business and finance hasn't been that great lately with the business you'll find that through the karma card what you've put in is what you get out that's what karma is that's what judgment is what you you know you pay it forward kind of thing what you put in is what you get out of out of life so the the, the most effort that you're putting into a situation it should see you um bringing in all of that abundance all the results of your hard work it's a wonderful card for the outcome for um for work karma because i'm seeing a, le a new lease of life for a lot of you guys especially as some of you guys are possibly going to be at a crossroads in 2017 could be around money because you're weighing up two of pentacles i need and you remember the the sea behind this person is rocky it's a rocky sea a lot of readers will read this as somebody who's happily juggling but and they might be happily juggling but also i i can't ignore the rough sea and the water is rough so it's to me it suggests that the emotions that you're feeling around having to balance out or having to kind of juggle two jobs or juggle the finances it might be a little bit rough on your own emotions but suddenly a burst of either imagination or inspiration or ideas or a new job coming in with this ace of wands suggests that there is going to be abundance that you're going to be receiving with that king of pentacles could be somebody that you're working around but usually the king of pentacles when you get this card a lot of the time it suggests after all your hard work or after all of your efforts real financial success is starting to come in for you so i can see successful and also the king of pentacles uh, if it's you guys, you can see you guys being able to master your finances. Finally, you have control of the finances. Here, this person's not really in control. As they're trying to control, but they're trying to make it. They're trying to make adjustments in terms of finances. But through a no idea, I feel it sees you taking control financially wise. And the overall outcome shows calm, uh, karma. Um, for me, this is a time of renewal, rebirth, resurrection, feeling really, really good, and also feeling that you have a huge weight lifted off your shoulders concerning your career. So if you've been going through a job that you don't like uh, in 2016 and you've come to a crossroads, it should see that being resolved in the year 2017, in which there is a huge weight lifted off your shoulders as you go to something new. If finances haven't been that good in terms of career, you've been juggling two jobs or something like that, it should see, I feel with this Ace of Wands and then the King of Pentacles, there being a resolution to that. Karma is a wonderful card to have as your outcome. Let's have a look at what's going on within your love situation during the course of 2017. And this is just a snapshot. Well, the Five of Wands is the general energy. So for some of you guys, it could be that you, if you are in a relationship, there might be some arguments, um, there might be some problems within the relationship. The Five of Wands usually shows up when we have... Um, uh, arguments with a lover when we are not seeing eye to eye where there is not enough time for one another where there is uh, some form of conflict within the relationship this card also references the word frustration so some of you guys might be feeling frustrated um, within your relationships uh, especially if you're with someone in the year 2017 if you are single it might see that you are either feeling very frustrated at finding a particular person 
or finding you know a soulmate or a proper love relationship and that type of thing but it also might be in terms of love relationships you're looking to build something with a partner it just depends this can also show competitors so if there is somebody around you that you really like in the year 2017 there might be other competition for this person's affections but we won't know until we have a look at the car other cards what is it around this five of wands well a lot of you guys will be carrying a heavy burden in terms of the ten of wands uh, regarding relationships uh, no it doesn't look that great but this is just a general reading so it doesn't say it's for all of you Scorpio it says it's for some of you I do feel that some of you guys are going to be carrying some form of a heavy burden and this is why we've got the frustration card here so the general energy for love in 2017 shows that there is some frustration here in which you're going to be carrying perhaps a little bit of a burden within your relationships, especially if you're in a relationship that might be just a little bit too much to bear with a particular person. Let's have a look at the novel, the next card. Oh, jeez, fuck. What the hell? Oh, that's not nice. Ten of Swords. Yeah, I mean, I feel that this is... Um, I feel that if you're single, there is frustration here. And the around this frustration in terms of being single for relationships it could be with this ten of wands the burden is just too much to take being on one's own so much so that you might just give up or feel like giving up in terms of love with that ten of swords if you're in a relationship it might see you and your partner not seeing eye to eye with that five of sword, five of wands energy it might be creating a huge burden which leads to the ten of swords and the ten of swords can mean well it's over i can't see any way forward with this relationship it's going it's you know I, I'm done with this relationship I'm done with all the arguments I'm done with the deceit or the lies or this person who um, for some of you guys it might also be that if you are seeing people on and off there might be frustration because maybe this person conceals themselves okay maybe this person is concealing themselves from what they've done to you with that ten of swords so they're hiding because sometimes this can be a card of hiding let's have a look at what the final card is the queen of pentacles and that's it. i feel that you're going to be going into a period of self-evaluation queen of pentacles for me in terms of love often represents focusing on career rather than love but it also means focusing on what your values are as an individual with the queen of pentacles remember she's rooted in water so she will always for me derive her decisions from an intuitive base but she will then take that intuition and what she knows to be intuitively right and she will then make an action plan and she will look at things realistically and she'll say okay this is not working because of this so therefore that needs to go and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus on what is the most tangible thing for me. So I feel that for some of you guys, if you're in a relationship, um, if you're in a relationship, there could be frustration that uh, you are uh, experiencing with your other half. For some of you, please, 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 this is a general reading for the year ahead. So please, please, please don't get your knickers in a twist. If your relationship's fine, great stuff, okay? But what I'm seeing is, for some of you, there's frustration with the five of wands within a relationship. You're not seeing eye to eye if you're in a relationship with someone, married or whatever. Underneath this, it's causing huge amounts of struggle and burden. You're carrying too much of a weight and it might lead to the death or failure of a relationship. And therefore, some of you guys might be focusing on yourself, your own true value, what exactly it is that you want, the more tangible things of what works within your life instead of a relationship. This, if I were to read it, would be struggles lead to failure with instability. Because the Queen of Pentacles is often seen as a mother or a wife. Uh, she has a stable relationship, a stable home life with her partner. But I feel if there are frustrations and you and your partner aren't seeing eye to eye, it could be that while there's frustrations within the relationship, it leads to struggles and burdens, which result in failure of the relationship. And struggles and burdens lead to failure of security and stability within a relationship. So I'm seeing perhaps some relationship breakdowns here. Uh, I'm also seeing if you're single, there might be the frustration that you're going it alone with the ten of wands that it's difficult finding the right person 
and therefore it might result in some of you guys feeling like you need to give up on finding that particular person and perhaps with that Queen of Pentacles being the outcome card here just focusing on what the most intangible thing is within your life that you can control that you can be happy about so some of you guys might be focusing on your health you might be focusing on your careers you might be focusing on your garden if you're a single parent on your children that type of thing with the Queen of Pentacles energy and let's have a look what the overall outcome is for love the star well it's positive because it says that you're going through a spiritual i feel that you're going through some form of a spiritual rebirth and that things are really looking positive and whatever it is that's not working here for some of you scorpios whether you're single or attached in the year 2017 i feel the overall outcome is saying with the star that you can see the water is pouring out so this woman is pouring away two jugs of water the cups are empty so and it's two of cups funnily enough let me just pick up this car and, and see what she's pouring out of they're two huge jugs and we could possibly even look at those as cups so the two of cups is overturned and it's in the reverse really because the two cups are kind of reversed on this card where she's pouring out and it says that the cups are half empty they're not they're empty this relationship cannot go but i feel that there is enlightenment and i feel that this brings you to a point of enlightenment especially if you're in a relationship and it's not worked out which i feel here it's saying that some of your relationships if you are in one in 2017 will not work out but the overall outcome is the star that whilst the yes there might be a sense of feeling that the cup is half full that there isn't um the capacity to find or to hold down a really great wonderful relationship it can also say well through pouring away what is not needed you have empty cups that are now ready to be filled back up again. So there is a sense of enlightenment that comes to you. There is going to be a sense of perhaps vulnerability for some of you, whether you're single or unattached in a relationship. Uh, single or attached, sorry, in a relationship. But it paves the way for something positive, more positive to come within your life. Okay, So don't give up hope on that, single or attached. If things aren't working out in the relationship department, which these cards are kind of saying for some of you Scorpios, it says that, you know, Hope will prevail. Don't give up. Because even though the cups might seem half empty right now in 2017, you're just paving the way for something better to come along. Let's have a look at what's going on in your home environment. What's the general energy? While some of you guys might be leaving, you might be moving home because you've got the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is a card about moving. This is a card about changing direction. Some of you guys might even be looking to travel overseas, potentially. Um... Some of you guys, yes, you're traveling to another home. You're traveling uh, to another location with this card. I feel that definitely there is some form of a change of direction going on here with the Six of Swords. And what's around this? Well, yeah, Four of Wands. So we can see that this change with the four, Six of Swords involves a home because you've got the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is a card about home, where you live. And the Four of Wands can often mean a change of location. So I feel that home-wise, there's a change coming, Six of Swords. It can be literally traveling abroad for some of you guys. It references around this will be a new home because you've got the Four of Wands showing here. You're going to put a lot of investment and time into this home, I feel, because the Seven of Pentacles is about investments and putting a lot of time and an effort into something here. So I feel that there's travel coming up. Your home situation is ruled by the Six of Wands, Six of Swords, sorry, as the crowning card. It shows me there there is a change, a new direction coming up in terms of your home lives. Around this is your home. So we can see that there is a change coming here, some travel. It's to a new home here in which you're going to be looking to do a lot of investing in. So I can see a lot of you guys doing a lot of work in the garden, maybe planting some seeds which is what the Seven of uh, Pentacles is. You're going to be putting a lot of money probably into this home here, okay? So buying stuff to make the home look nice. It's also, I can see the garden, as I've said, planting cabbages, um, carrots, really good food, looking after the home, making sure that, it, you know, it looks like you're moving perhaps to your dream home for some of you guys. And what's the end result here? The Queen of Wands. And that's interesting because the Queen of Wands is about feeling confident and feeling lucky. We've got the black cat here, and it's just struck me the black cat is, has. So I feel with the Queen of Wands, um, I feel that there is a home in which you will be investing a lot of time and energy in order to make yourself feel happy and confident. Some of you guys might be even looking to work from, from out of your, your home, potentially. 
because the Queen of Wands is an entrepreneurial card and she's a card that uh, deals with um, creative pursuits. So I feel that not only are you investing a lot of money within your home, it could be around some form of creative pursuit with the Queen of Wands energy here. So this could really be saying, you know, what you're looking at is travel, is the general energy for your home life. So you're changing direction. Some of you guys, location. Some of you guys, it might be changing country. This is around a new home in which you're going to be making a lot of investments, perhaps working a lot in the garden, working on the interior of the home, putting a lot of money into the home, and also working perhaps through the Seven of Pentacles, what you're investing is in the Queen of Wands. Not only just creative pursuits in terms of the wallpaper, the carpeting, you know, the kitchen, the pots, the pans, everything that makes a home look beautiful, but also in your own confidence. And also perhaps some of you guys are looking to maintain your own control. So become the queen of your own home. The queen of wands is a leader. And she's also somebody that likes to be in the spotlight. She likes to be in the forefront. So I feel that within your home life, it's not just about creating a beautiful home, but it's more about creating a beautiful you at the same time. Let's have a look finally at what the future holds for 2017 for Scorpio. What's this ruled by? Oh, let's have a look. What did the, the, the outcome for home say? Wow, the magician. That's incredible. And it makes sense. So the outcome is the magician. And this is you guys in control. You're starting to create something of amazing uh, proportions within your home environment. You really, really are. You're moving somewhere I feel bigger and better from where you are right now. Uh, the Magician is a card about creating a new reality. It's a card about uh, what you think about, you bring about. It's a card about being at the start of a new creative and magical path in which anything can happen and you make a lot of things happen. So I feel that you're going to really, uh, the outcome being the Magician means that you're at the start of something new and something quite powerful in terms of your home life. Uh, let's have a look at what your um, wishes are though. No, actually, we'll have a look at that afterwards. We'll have a look at the uh, future. Oh, well, the Knight of Wands shows some form of a move coming in. The Knight of Wands pretty much references moving, um, traveling. So there could be in the future, the energies are around some form of travel happening for you guys here. Can be a person. If it's a person, it's possibly a fire sign. Could be a Sagittarius individual who's very instrumental within your life in the future towards the end of... Um, towards the end of uh, uh, 2017. But this is also about long distance travel. So I'm seeing perhaps the energies are around travel for some of you guys, changing direction. This card can also represent feeling inspired and being bold and being create, um, courageous enough to move in certain directions within your life in the year 2017, Scorpio. What's around that? Well, the Four of Cups. Um, let me just think about this a moment. Well, you know, the Four of Cups is about opportunities that come to us. But it also, I feel that this is being selective. So I feel that there is changes for the better coming in with that Knight of Wands. I also feel that you'll be uh, looking perhaps to do a lot of traveling. But I also feel that you'll look, this is more, because we've got this Four of Cups here. This is you guys being selective. I'm seeing you guys stepping into your power and into your confidence with this Knight of Wands energy. I feel that you are at the um, point of feeling courageous and fired up enough to uh, change direction. I also feel that a lot of you guys might be looking to seek new inspiration, but also new thrills, because the Knight of Wands is very much a thrill seeker. Uh, this Four of Cups references being selective. So around this move, around this kind of change and this need to kind of move in a certain direction at a very fast pace for some of you Scorpios I feel that you are going to be very very selective in terms of what you take if this is a person coming in the knight of wands I feel that you're going to be very selective with this individual because the four of cups says you know I've got something that's offered to me but it might just be like the rest you can see that this person has three cups that are banked up here and why has he got three cups? Has he got three cups because he likes the three cups and he doesn't need a third? He doesn't need anything else? Or so does he want to keep things the way that they are? Is he just being selective? Or is it a case of, well, I don't really want that because if I take that, I'll just, I'll just bung it in with the rest. Okay, it's all the same to me. There's no difference with this four of, one, four of cups. 
So the Four of Cups can be a card about apathy, boredom, because you just you don't want more of the same. So it could really mean that there is a change in direction because perhaps around this, you don't want more of the same. You're not interested in having the same life that you had in 2016. And that's why you need the change here with this Knight of Wands. And what's around this? Ah, Seven of Cups. You've got a lot of dreams here, Scorpio, showing up. Okay, I feel what's happening here is that the future is showing that you are eager with this Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands can be a word that we call eager. Okay, we can use the word eager. We can use the word um, excited. We can use the word inspired. I feel that you're excited and you're inspired for some form of change because the Knight of Wands is a card of change. And around that, we can see that you don't want more of the same that you've had in 2016. So with the Seven of Cups, you're actually looking at new options. Uh, you're looking at new paths, new doors. You're looking at ways to enhance your own experience within the world in the year 2017 because you're not willing to take what you've had before. And where does this lead? Oh, that's interesting to the Two of Swords. And I feel that this represents stealth and it represents being completely and absolutely certain. All right, you could take two directions with the Two of Swords, but this Two of Swords is also somebody who says no. When you get cards like the Two of Swords and Seven of Wands, people that are like... They're sitting like statues. They're like, they've got this really formidable stance about them. It often means no. And I feel that you are going to be with this Two of Swords more in the mindset. Uh, this is a mindset as well for me, the Two of Swords, where it says, you know what, actually, I'm not willing to take this. This is what I think now, and this is what I'm sticking with, and that's that. So I feel that there are the energies are showing in the future in 2017, towards the end of 2017, that you guys are going to be feeling excited, inspired, uh, eager, uh, ready for a change here. You're not willing to have what you've had in the past here. You're very dubious about it because you feel it's going to be like everything else. So you're looking at um, new opportunities and new ways of being and new doors opening or opening new doors that lead to the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords can often mean certainty. Okay? Um, it's an interesting card to get as the outcome of the Two of Swords in a way. We've got, you know, cup cards here and we've got a very free card here being the general energy. But I feel underneath this freedom will be the Two of Swords. And that is maybe for some of you guys, you could either go two ways. You've got two choices that maybe you've got here. Because we do see that you're making choices here. And for me, this could mean that you've got two ways that you could go about it. Let's have a look what the overall outcome is for that future card the hermit so i feel that you know by the end of uh 2017 you're still going to be on the search for uh the correct path uh, it doesn't mean career it can just mean a spiritual path the outcome can mean a spiritual path as well okay and it can mean just the path to true happiness for you as a scorpio scorpios okay because the hermit is a card about trying to find the light um, and trying to find the light within the darkness or trying to find the truth within the darkness. Or, uh, you know, it's not uh, so much a card about isolation. It's a card about, you know, somebody who is on a journey to self-enlightenment, but they can also be on a very spiritual path. This can be somebody who goes through a mode of study, uh, learning about themselves, learning about others, investigation. He can often show up as a lawyer, that type of thing. So I feel that the overall outcome for the future is that you're still on a path of self-enlightenment Okay, because I feel that this Two of Swords represents you guys going two ways. You can go two ways. Okay, but I feel that you're adamant with this Two of Swords here, which is why you're blocking out some form of emotion. Because it might be that you have made choices in the past, Scorpio, that have led you down a certain path. But you've made those choices based on emotion rather than good logical thinking. And this is the card of logical thinking rather than emotional thinking. Uh, and it's to me, it says that you're not happy with what you've had. So you're looking at new options that lead to two paths or two ways that you could go here. And that's why the overall outcome shows that you're still going to be searching for something. And I feel that this is more about who you are going forward um, over the next few years. Let's have a look at um, what your wishes are. Well, it's the shadow side. You wish for the devil. What does that mean? Let me just think. Well, the Devil card is um, 
it can be that you're wishing for a bit of fun. It can mean that you're wishing for some form of abandonment. But it can also, I mean, we don't have the devil in the reverse. That's the thing. And the devil in the reverse, for me, is a card where we're letting go of um, the things that are keeping us beholden to uh, a certain way of life, certain patterns, certain ways of doing things. It can be drink. It can be drugs. It can be sex. It can be... Uh, seeing people in a certain way it can be not feeling good enough the devil seeks to hold you um, to hold you ransom but I feel that more than anything if I turn this into a positive because a wish has to be positive I feel the devil card is saying that you're wishing to confront your fears more than anything else if I were to look at that card the shadow side I feel that your wish is to confront your fears. Because we see you confronting your fears pretty much throughout the reading, in a way. You have to confront your, your fears in this reading, Scorpio. You know, right from the get-go on this reading, we're seeing you confront your fears, because you have to. We're seeing opportunities in your personal life. They're regarding some form of partnerships, negotiations, ones that you want to hold on to, that you're in defense of, because you're willing to put the work in with the Eight of Pentacles. So in your personal life, there are things that you're willing to hold on to. And in order to do that, you've got to confront your fears. You've got to fight off whatever it is that you feel will take away this opportunity for growth. Same thing with your career. Again, we're seeing somebody who is caught between a rock and a hard place. They are evaluating two paths with the two of pentacles. And they're weighing things up, but then they you know, happen upon a bright idea that leads to great financial um, abundance with that king of pentacles and it gives rebirth change weights being lifted with the karma again it's about confronting the fears and it's about breaking down walls your love life yes for singles and attached there seems to be some form of frustration going on but the confronting of the fears comes with the queen of pentacles and acknowledging your own self-worth and your own self-value and the things that are going to give you the most happiness in 2017 and the things that are going to give you in a way the most joy it doesn't seem for some of you guys it's going to be in a relationship but more in developing who you are and self-acceptance of who you, you are and focusing on the things that will love you back with the queen of pentacles so whether that's your children or whether that's the work that you do or whether it's your health working on your house going to the gym that type of thing it's about confronting those fears and breaking things down it might not be nice to be outside of love and not have the love that you want for some of you guys but at least it gives you time to develop who you are with this queen of pentacles energy and therefore it results in the star you're forging a way through you're pouring away what is no longer needed so it paves the way for whatever it is that comes up to uh you know give you that love that you seek and what's the overall outcome? The Emperor. I feel that the overall outcome is you guys being in control of who you are. Because that's what the Emperor is. It's about taking back your control. It's about building solid foundations. It's about uh, being conventional. And when I say conventional, I mean, fine, if you don't want to have a conventional relationship where you're being hurt and hurt and time and time again and you're willing to settle for that, fine. But the emperor wouldn't settle for that because the emperor knows what's good for him. So the emperor wants a conventional relationship where it's kind and it's giving and it's nurturing. You guys are perhaps going to find yourselves as the emperor, mother and father, especially when it comes to perhaps the family or it comes to your love lives, especially if you've got children and relationships aren't working out with a partner. You will perhaps find yourself having to look after the home and having to control everything, the finances, everything. But the overall outcome is beautiful with this emperor card because it shows real strength and it shows real fortitude and you guys really being able to take back that control that for some of you guys you may have felt that you lost in 2016. And what's the overall advice card for Scorpio? The devil. <laughs> so that was your wish, and this is your advice. The shadow side in the witch's tower is the devil card, and this is um, the advice card, the devil. I feel it's about confronting fears. All right, we don't have it in the reverse. This can be also go out and have some fun as well. Don't be so serious. But also I feel that this is more 
Um, I don't feel that this is about, I mean, the devil is advice. It can mean that you've got a devil within your love life because it just looks like you're struggling with someone and this person might be disrupting your balance. So it could mean the advice card in terms of love is that you've got a devil within your love life. And this is somebody that you need to get, con you know, take control of. You need to kind of ship them out if they're not serving your highest purpose. Okay. Um, especially within your home life as well. The advice card might be that you're very much focused on the superficiality of your home. So you're tempted. There's a lot of temptation here in terms of, you know, uh, paying a lot of money out and making the home look nice and buying lots of trinkets and lots of expensive things. So it could also mean that there's temptation as the advice card that you're going to be facing in the year 2017. Okay. Um, it can also mean, I feel, within your personal life and your work life that there's a lot of hard work that you guys are going to be doing. You're going to be a slave to the grind to make things work, to make things a success in 2017 as well, okay? But also, I feel, in terms of the future, it could be with the devil card. If this person is someone that comes in, not of once is not a great card for me to have as a lover because he's just hit and miss type of individual, it might mean that you don't want this person four of cups and you therefore you look at other options. Because maybe you block this individual out with the two of swords. So the devil card can mean this knight of wands, especially if this isn't you guys changing tact, but more about somebody who's acting as a devil that's coming in, potentially in terms of love. And that could possibly correlate to this especially if you're single and the burdens around this individual that you're get, getting very frustrated with. This Queen of Pentacles where you're focusing on yourself, your health, your home, your family, your children could mean with that Two of Swords here that maybe you're blocking this person out. You don't need it. You're blocking out emotion for logic here. So the devil can show up in many uh, spheres of this reading, um, Scorpio. And I feel it represents a person, maybe. The advice is that it could be that there is a person who is a devil, potentially within your love life, um, potentially within a future uh, thing here. But I also feel that the devil, as an advice card, represents all the hard work you're going to be putting into partnerships, especially work partnerships or, you know, uh, getting your own thing off the ground or whatever it is, especially within your personal situation and also um, your working situation as well. I feel that it represents temptation, maybe, perhaps within your home life, uh, the need to create something of grandeur and beauty, maybe within the home here. Um, yeah, and I, yeah, I feel that the devil represents many things in terms of advice, that you're going to be tempted to do certain things, purely for superficial reasons, maybe within the home. But I also feel it's going to be that there might be people who are devils in your life, especially within love, possibly future, uh, and the hard work with the devil card as advice comes with, you know, all the hard work you're going to be putting into your personal situation and your career. Okay, so we've got three different types of uh, advice, I feel, for the year 2017, Scorpio, and that is that if there is a devil in terms of love, you're not going to want that person, you'll get rid of them. If it's a devil in terms of work, personal, you're going to be working really, really hard to achieve your dreams. And if it's a devil in terms of temptation, then it might be that you are tempted to kind of overdo things in terms of a home move in the year 2017. But all in all, it's a really good reading. The most thing that I can say about the devil card, though, as advice is to confront fears and get rid of them if you can, because it's going to be a year of trying to do that no matter what. That is your year ahead reading, Scorpio, through the life spread. I would like to say thank you so much for choosing Carol's Universe for your um, for your uh, year ahead reading. And I will see you guys on your, they've already been recorded anyway, I'll be putting them up soon, on your January 2017 and Love Scopes. Take care.